What's up, fam? Welcome to Off the Reservation, a show that wants to leave their mark in the sky. I'm your number one wizard, Mal. I'm El. And I'm the son of Picasso. I'm not a weather wizard, though. You know, you got to get somebody else to do that for you. <laughs> You're no, uh, <laughs> no Steve Stucker. <laughs> Joe, Joe Diaz, Joe, Joe Diaz. I don't, I don't know which one. <laughs> what other local weathermen are there? <laughs> Do you remember that one time we were running a fry bread booth for the church, and like Steve Stucker like made a big old prediction that the weather was gonna be nice, and like it like blew through all crappy, like the wind was going all crazy, and then like all of a sudden Did we, we put were, a hex on him. <laughs> we were, all, we saw him. We were like, thanks, Steve. <laughs> That's <lot."> right. <laughs> You don't remember yeah, that? It was it was us and, us and one of our other cousins. So anyway, that we was the time saw we saw just when we saw Justin Bieber. I don't know if you remember that. What? What? You guys don't remember that? No, Justice oh Bieber. <laughs> okay, rewind. Oh, was that at the 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 at Blue the Blue Fiesta? Fiesta? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Like through Radio Disney before he like became famous. Man. And like we all teased your Man. sister Ashley. We were like Ashley, go snag him. <laughs> and like everybody laughed and like oh I don't know about that you don't remember that no. yeah um, I remember it I, I was buying the Steve Stucker thing but yeah it was, it was a fun Bieber, time. anytime you kick it with us it's always fun uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah we well, were hey, Justin what? Bieber if you were ever at the uh, Albuquerque balloon fiesta <laughs> in what I don't know what was that probably two thousand four <laughs> no probably two it was like Radio <laughs> Disney 2000. so it was like. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, Was Justin Bieber, if you were ever there, let us know. We're going to have to cross-reference these uh, dates here. Yeah. <laughs> Fact check these. Fact check them. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I didn't, I didn't know that, but Steve Stucker really stuck it to us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, good thing he's retiring. Do you think they can predict the weather? Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, man. Like I think really? he... I, I think you have to have like some level of education in <clears throat> order to be able to... like read the weather you need to know what a cumulus cloud is right <laughs> maybe i it's a it's a, an educated guest i assume you know but i it's, i don't know man i mean your our phones are eerily uh accurate you know when it's like oh in 20 minutes it's gonna rain and wouldn't you know 20 minutes later i mean I'm it's all the there. radar <laughs> the radar is shooting my yeah. phone's shooting radars radars <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, but, I always had this theory that, like, <clears throat> they are controlling the weather. Oh, yeah. Like, the it's just odd that they can, like, predict, like, two months out, a week out. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, like, I mean, I get it. They got, they got radar, right? But it's just, it's a trip. And then you see, like, how just crazy these, like, weather changes are. Like, yeah. they just have been, like, nice and then swing left and then you're just like all of a sudden you're it's like dude it's snowing out like, well i've always like put that up to being like it being albuquerque like you know like like on one half of the city it could be like a blizzard and on the other side it could be like 90 degrees like ready to like go bust out the pool and the floaties you know what i mean like well, I mean, let's also not discount that like climate change is, you know, something that is actually happening. You yeah. know what I mean? But what's yeah. contributing to climate change? So, you kind of wonder, right? Like after riding that high it's last me. week <clears throat> of conspiracy theories, I was just like way into like looking more into like just other crazy stuff, and it yeah. took me back <laughs> to like one of my favorite conspiracy theories about chemtrails. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard about chemtrails. No, not no. I mean not. Yeah, so so according passing. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, chemtrails are condensation trails or chemtrails consist of chemical or biological agents left in the sky by high flying aircraft. So like in that sense what what chemtrails are like like when you look up in the sky and you see like like a plane the flying, line, like an actual and, trail behind yeah. the plane. And like they used to call them contrails, right? Yeah. yeah. But in the conspiracy world we call them chemtrails. And, like, the idea is, like, these trails are full of, like, aluminum and, like, other chemicals to create or seed the clouds, so to say. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so, like, so, so what? To so seed the clouds? Is that yeah. Seed them. Yeah. Oh, seed them. Oh, so that's, this is part of, like, the actual controlling of the weather? Yeah. 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 Oh. Because I remember you were telling me, weren't they doing something like this in, like, the Middle East or something where, like... We didn't, weren't we talking about that? Yeah. Where, like, they, like, are able to, like, make it rain? Yeah. In the Sahara Desert. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, it's, it's something to do with that, like being cloud able to. Seeding, and, right? and it's, yeah. it's real, like it's, yeah. it's it's a real science. And so, there's people that believe that you know that's what they've been doing for like the last like 
25 years. Yeah. And so how I actually originally heard about chemtrails was, you know, I got to throw it back to way back in 2000, early 2000s, sitting there in my apartment, smoking a joint, watching Prince on the Tavis <laughs> Smiley <laughs> PBS. <laughs> And like, you know what I mean? (laughs) And like, yeah, yeah, love sack days, right? And like just sitting there watching and just like having my mind like, like hearing Prince talk about chemtrails, I'm like, oh, I got to look more into this. And so like that just led me to look into one level of it. And then that took me to the idea of, I I guess, reading about harp. I don't know if you've ever heard about harp. No. Harp. So that's the high frequency active Aurora Aurora. Research (laughs) Program. Yeah, (laughs) I got you. (laughs) Yeah, I had a hard time saying that. (laughs) It it was crazy. So the first time I heard about this was on the Jesse Ventura Conspiracy Theory Program. I don't know if you ever heard of him. (laughs) The the wrestler Uh, Jesse Ventura. Yeah, Jesse Ventura. Well, he ended up becoming a governor. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like he like did this whole like program about this heart program, and like they had this giant installation of like weather towers and like. They they super juice the ionosphere with like electricity. <laughs> yeah. And then like they say like they're able to manipulate the weather. Right. And like it sounds all crazy, but like there's actual patents out there. Right. Like there's patents registered with the US Patent Office that like these technologies exist. Right. Hmm. So then you have like normal people, like everyday people like me and you, like armed with a cell phone camera and like they just start watching the skies. And, like, you see these people document how, like, clouds used to be versus how they are now. And, like, they're flat and wispy. Or, like, they start to document how, like, when there's a rash of um, uh, tornadoes across the Midwest, Mm. like, they show, like, the active um, uh, weather modification going on. There's a harp um, installation, like, down in um, Arizona. And like they can see it from space, and they Figures. can see or a radar, <laughs> and they can see like it like charging the ionosphere. Yeah. So like it's just crazy, man. Like, like so, how much is really speculation? How much is real? Like, what changed for me was when I saw these patents. Right. Mm-hmm. Like people just don't get patents for the fun of it. Like they get patents to. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so got my full line of wizardry. Yeah. But was really Pet. cool. Like was was cool. Was my intro into it was the whole Prince interview. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to play it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You sent that to me here. While we found it, it took a little little finding though, actually. Yeah. Because when we were looking it up, like we found the original interview, but it looked like it was scrubbed. They like cut that that piece out because it that wasn't was weird. in there. Uh, but it's definitely from the same. We, we should show that too. You know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time, and. So oh, that's cool. A jet just went over. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. And the next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing and you didn't know why. Okay? And, and you really didn't know why. I mean, everybody was fighting. So he, he started riffing about the chemtrails. And he started to say things that... Uh, hit home so hard so anyway you can stop it right yeah here. yeah yeah so here's what's really crazy right so at that time i had like i kind of can't remember it was early 2000s i had seen this interview right and like fast forward in life like grow up here i am a dad and like we were talking about last week about how you would wake up with levi like super early to like feed him and change yeah. him and get him ready right watch aliens so with me and my kids it was always about music so i would like put on like um I don't know if you've ever seen like the Woodstock series where like the 1960s, they did like the actual Woodstock documentary. Hmm. And so I was watching it and like these hippies were walking and they were like, yeah, man, they've been seeding the clouds all day. And then like, he's like, they were just, just flying around. And then like, it slowly like starts to rain. And like, I was just like seeding the clouds. And that led to that, reminded me back to that idea of Prince talking about how there were these chemtrails and like, it just was this whole like full circle moment. And so I started to just observe my local area, just like what the skies looked like when I was out, right? Yeah. And so like we as people, as human beings are like the greatest observer of science. Like we can just be, we can just, we, we ourselves can be that the observers you know what i mean yeah like we don't need to be actual scientists we can just look with our own eyes 
And so I started to look up and I was like, man, these days that these things are like flying through the sky and spraying, like these days just change so drastically, right? Yeah. Or like, then there's a haze in the sky and you're like, clouds really didn't look like this. Like th there's just something odd here. So it really makes made me question reality. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if I have to be so blunt and bold about it. Yeah. Like, all right, so, well, so, like, in that interview that you showed us with Prince, like, he was alluding to the idea that... Behavioral the, al al alter yeah, it's like, alteration. Yeah, on. yeah, it was like a behavior, like, modification yeah. happening uh, among this chemtrails. Is that something that's still commonly believed? Or is it more for, like, controlling weather? Well, let me ask you this. Look at our society now, right? Like every day we turn on the TV and we just see violence everywhere on a mass scale. Yeah. Right. Like I mean. Yeah. It's, it, it's got to be something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, and let's just say it's real. We can we can't all be walking underneath this cloud of of chemicals and not have it affect our body, right? Hmm. Well, well, at the same time, like a being a, an observer and just like throwing in my two cents here. Um, you know, we we do like there there are people who do uh off the grid living. You know, they do their YouTube, uh, TikTok profiles where they're like, Oh, this is me building my house and these people that live out in these areas, you know, doing the basic things seem to have a much more happier life than, you know, those of us living in the city having to go through the day do all those things and i think it's because you know partially because like humans weren't supposed to be in such close quarters you know what i mean like if you look at it like native americans we had societies with a low level of war you look at um the the way that we you can tell a society by their their war technologies you know, we we only got to the bow and arrow to uh, minor weapons, you know, mostly used for tools for hunting, whereas Europeans, they got all the way to making swords, guns, bombs, those kinds of things. I don't buy that, man. We had lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> we had the force. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, and that's the thing is, like, a, a people who can um, manage their disputes verbally have have a higher intelligence than those who resort to using their fists. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. mean that the person who uses their fists can't be intelligent. It just means that like, if I can talk my way out of a fight more than just being able to throw hands, yeah, then I got some mental jutsu. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, and so therefore like, that being said, like you look at Native Americans and and most of the um, Americas altogether, yeah, we mostly all got along because we had distance between ourselves and we're able to handle that things. Now that we're all together, it's not unfathomable that the powers that be, you know, Big Brother, would be like, hey, I got to control these people a little bit better. Behavioral modifications need to happen, especially you know having what is it the uh experiments in the 70s uh ultra mk ultra those kinds yeah. of things uh the modifications with drugs and yeah. things like that because you know at some point somebody had to have been like i mean they had uh fragments in uh world war ii they were gonna strap a landmine to a dog and train it to run under a tank to blow it up if they're willing to do that to a puppy like what are they going to be willing to do to the general population, yeah. you know what I mean. So, here, here's a here's a crazy thought, right? Or I mean, I it's not a crazy thought, but here's just like I don't know if you remember this. Sorry, <laughs> here's a take for you. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know if you remember, but when I lived in Oklahoma, do you remember getting water from the water fountain and me showing you what it looked like? It looked like milk. Yeah, that was they weird. Pump so much fluoride into the water, and like that's just one of those things too that there's another conspiracy theory about the idea of fluoride in fluoride. our water. And fluorination and what it does to our our body and how it affects you know just our our not just our our physical body but 
our essence of what makes us hmm. spiritual people yeah. you know and like you go back and like there's a lot of people that go back and look at like um ger- not nazi germany and how hitler used fluoride to make the masses docile yeah yeah just i don't know man so okay so let me just ask this do you do you think that we do you think at a certain point where what what if what if none of this is happening but like the government's like oh that's fine let's 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 keep them paranoid you know what i mean yeah what what if it says that? You know what I mean? They're like, oh, well, we don't have to do anything. They're they're making it all up themselves. You know, I'm just like, I'm just wondering, like, um, you know, like, is there a certain point? Is there a certain point that we ever feel like maybe, maybe we're being too paranoid, or is do we got to just keep pushing further? I kind of wonder. What you know? What do you think? Like, I, do we ever hit a point where like, well, maybe I'm maybe I'm pushing this a little too far. Maybe you know. Personally, I think life is about a balance because you can't you can't just be so paranoid that it stops you from living. Right. But at the same time, you can't just go through life not questioning things. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. true. Like that's I, I got bills to pay. I can't yeah. be worrying about chemtrails twenty four seven. You know, I think that's what attracts people to conspiracy theories. It's like a scary movie, right? Yeah. You go in and you experience it, and you come out. It's like like Family Guy with Stewie. Right, and he's like, ah, oh, and like gets all scared, and then they say, like, okay, okay, I'm fine, now. I'm fine, now. right? Like you can go in and you can experience this idea or this theory, and like, I mean, the idea of aliens, right? Like yeah. not having any control at all, yeah, of your existence when you go yeah. to sleep, right? See, like that's that's like that that can mess you I, up, I don't know, man. There, there's things where I'm like, okay, that's creepy, but like it really is like out of your control. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Yeah, but you know, like this kind of stuff is like. I think it's kind of freakier because it's like, whoa, like if this is happening and if everybody would just wake up, man, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like what could happen, you know? But it's like, it's sad because, you know, things like this or just in general, like conspiracies that may or may not be true, you know, will never, or things that it feels like we're never going to know, you know what I mean? Because yeah. no one's ever going to come out and say it. Until you whistleblowers know? come forward. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you know? And, and that's where it, it that's where it really um we need those unsung heroes man yeah like that that i was trying to think of a way to put it is that's where it takes the the fortitude with these people to yeah. be able to come forward who who well, know these things well right? see and that was the thing is like what was it last in the last couple of years they had some some documents from the pentagon got finally um released released and not in like you know some air force men tried to you know prove he was real cool or anything but yeah. like an actual person was like hey these are it's time for us to declassify these things and yeah then, but you know that they're <laughs> declassified they're like well let's just give them yeah, yeah let's just taste. yeah yeah and you know like when that <laughs> happened it, it wasn't necessarily like like all this time they've been like hey aliens aren't real you know you guys are all crazy and finally they're like so there's some stuff we can't explain um we've seen it might be aliens might not be yeah here here's our here's our documents yeah and that that's when like the time switch the time sl- flipped on itself and so like who knows how much longer like you know you know these these chemtrails these these things these experiments have like a a time window in which they're going to be finally de- declassified yeah. you know yeah what, what's always neat is when you're reading or watching and like they're like are talking and then all of a sudden they're like and this was located in the military base in the desert of albuquerque new mexico and you're just like oh my god i live right here like Man, i got that there. creepy feeling when i was watching that scientology i think <laughs> yeah. and like they've got a remote ranch out in new mexico i was like what no. they're here <laughs> they got a whole thing here they're like that's where they're keeping his wife <laughs> like, what? oh no, no. <laughs> Someone better uh, call Leah Remy. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. get her on the phone right now. Um, <laughs> I want Leah. <laughs> but uh, like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, New Mexico has a lot of secrets, man. I yeah. think New Mexico has a lot of secrets. Well, I they mean, did all that nuclear testing. Yeah, we did here, all the dude. nuclear testing here. Yeah. You know, the Trinity site. You know, uh, yeah. You know, all that stuff. So, uh, I well, think there's a lot for us to dig. You know into what? Here okay, in New so like on 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 a side, like real small side note. 
I remember we were driving uh, on I-40. Is this another Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's way cooler. Uh, no, you, so you know where that uh, church, uh, Copper Copper Point? Uh, yeah, yeah. Built over there by that Sam's Club. Uh, so <laughs> Right by that Sam's Club, that church. <laughs> well, my parents were, like, we were driving past there, and my parents were like, hey, yeah, over there, there was, like, a nuclear uh, waste spill in that area. <laughs> Like, uh, if oh, you ever... yeah, that's right. And so, yeah, it used to be like a, uh, I think they said it used to be like a dump or it oh, used to that's be that's a... right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they I built Copper Point Church yeah, they on built there. A, they built a whole like little like church and make it one of those mega churches Yeah, here. those people are going to be seeing visions. <laughs> Man. <laughs> people speaking in tongues over there, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I'm just in... saying, if, if, they're, if they're willing to let, you know... <laughs> There's the lizard people, pigmen. Pigmen. <laughs> man bear pig. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh man. All right. This is enough conspiracies for me. Yeah. Yeah. Freaked out. <laughs> All this right. Was yeah. A, uh, uh, I, I work today. We're doing this at night for anybody. Yeah. You know, this is a. Uh, we usually do this during the day, yeah. and we're all pretty it's well rested at least, and off the reservation. Waking up, but man, I'm at night. I'm, yeah, after dark. After dark. <laughs> this is our off the reservation after dark episode. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that like button. <laughs> Next week we're going to be talking about our summer crushes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, who's your summer crush? <laughs> Oh man! As always, guys, remember to check out our uh, merch shop. Shirt uh, shop. Shirt shop. Shirt shack. Shirt shack. Uh, uh, it's at uh, off the reservation yeah, at Spread Shop. Keep so, it fresh, y'all. Yeah, check like it out. Subway. Uh, not sponsored, by the way. Sponsored. But sponsor uh, Subway if you want to <laughs> contact us. We're down. All right. Since we're you gonna, guys lost Jerry, we're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> I'm still holding out for that Dion's uh, sponsorship. <laughs> well, I want you should make you should make a you should like replace yourself with the Dion's guy on the box. <laughs> uh, uh, Yo, make what's up, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good week. We'll catch you later. <laughs>